So we pissed off the Hyzantians. Oopsies. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, let's do some character story. Learn the deep lore. A whole day of hunting, and this is all I have to show for it. Wanted to give Lord Sarah Noah something meaty for once. A deer is no easy prey. You are a skilled hunter. One deer to your three boar? <laughs> it's plain who the better of us is. I don't reckon you let a single one escape. Could be hunting is your true calling. Perhaps. Before I was knighted, I was keeper of the hawk's roost. And besides, I come from a long line of hunt. That's so. And what drove you to fight men for a living? Lenbrook put out a call Animals for hawk riders. Boring that they might hunt. challenge S. Frost's she aerial superiority. Man. I answered that call. My training was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But I won a position in the Kingsguard, where I petitioned to serve Prince Roland personally. Seeing you in action, I'm sure you could have made a fine commander. Yet you stuck by the Prince's side. Yes, I did. She has her honor on the line. Eridor. Flugi has yet to return. I hope he isn't in danger. What's this then? A traveler out here all alone, huh? And in sore need of protection by my reckoning. Hand over your coin purse and maybe we can reach an arrangement. Bandits? Here? How could I be so careless? I'd advise against running. Ain't nowhere for you to go. Enough. Are you hurt? Uh. I'm fine, thanks to you. Had you not showed up when you did, I could have ended up dead. You have my gratitude. Okay. You could have just called your bird to save you. Is that your hawk? He guided me here. I was in the middle of a hunt, but your bird cried out as if calling to me. Thank heavens I did not lose that arrow. I've never known hawks could be so wise. His name is Flugi, and he's more than my hawk. He's my closest companion. The bandits are growing more bold by the day. It is best you returned home. W wait! I have scarce little to give in the way of coin, but still, there must be something I can do to repay you. Serve me. Think nothing of it. It is the royal family's duty to protect our subjects. The royal... Good heavens! You're Prince Roland! Forgive me, your highness. There's no need for all that stuffy formality. May we meet again soon? Yes, your highness.
That was my first meeting with the prince. He saved my life, and for that, I shall be forever in his debt. I could settle for no less. Cool. Another story. Yeah, don't know much about this guy. Please, you can't take our wheat. We just sent food the other day. Silence. Lord Walford has ordered the requisition of all provisions. You wouldn't dare disobey your lord, would you? I don't think of he said not. that. I... I just can't believe Lord Walford would command such a thing. Are you accusing me, a noble woman of Glenbrook, of lying? Yes. <laughs> How dare you, peasant. Mayhap we should see what the commotion is about. Mind telling us what's going on? <gasps> well, if it isn't Captain Eridor, thank you for all that you do to keep these lands safe. You're one of the lot what recently fled from the Crown City, ain't you? Just so, yes. I came to humbly lend what aid I could to Lord Wolfford. <laughs> Deliver on the provisions I promised. What is your quarrel with these people? If you could explain the situation, we'd be more than happy to lend what aid we can. Please, I beg of you, don't take our food. It's all we have. I've always known Lord Walford to care for his people above all. Why would he do this to us? <laughs> what madness is this? Lord Saranoa has strictly forbidden commandeering food from the common folk. Surely you aren't asking these good people to relinquish their stores to you in his name. I am simply gathering provisions on Lord Walford's behalf, as I promised. Honestly, he should be grateful. Oof. Off with grateful. <laughs> He'd be red in the face if he saw what you were doing. Ain't no way he ordered it. On the contrary, you are acting in violation of your Lord's decree. We cannot overlook your actions. Off with you your will head. come with us and be jailed. There you will await judgment for your crimes. What nonsense is this? I am a noble woman of Glenbrook. How dare you uh, try to order me about, you self-important little man? You've no authority over me! Look, I ain't disagreeing, but are you sure we should accost her without seeking Lord Saranoa's counsel first? <sighs> we haven't that luxury. The longer she is allowed to roam free, the more the people will suffer, and our Lord's good name be sullied. We must show the people that unethical acts will not go unpunished. Take her away. You will pay for your impudence! Bitch. Can't believe there are scoundrels out here using House Wolfort's name for ill gain. You've done us all proud today, Yulio. Yeah. Thank you ever so much, my lord. We'd be facing starvation if you hadn't stepped in. She really had us fooled. We should have known Lord Walford is too kind a man to order anything like that. If you are ever troubled again, please seek me out. I shall ensure that any wrongs committed against you are set right. So that's the size of it. House Wolfford has gone to such great lengths for us. It was our decision and ours alone. Your people brought nothing upon us. It is as Saranoa says. We are happy to do all that we can to protect you. Forgive me, Lady Frederica, but your mother was Lady Orlea, was she not? You came.
came to our rescue just as she did. I cannot help but feel it was fated to be so. You knew my mother? Where did you hear of this, Jerome? I've told you not a whit about her. I overheard whispers between my mother and father long ago. Why would the elders labor to keep such information secret? Uh, well, truth be told, we feared being persecuted anew. And so your greatest fears have come true. Pray, hide no longer, and tell Lady Frederica what you know. You know the history of Hyzant's oppression of the Roselle, yes? Then you know of the Roselian revolt that occurred 30 years ago. Your mother, Lady Orlea, led that uprising at the source. She led us to freedom from Hyzant's rule, here to the Wolfwork Domain. She was a woman of great courage. She even left a sizable gash upon the goddess's statue as we departed. The statue that stands tall in the source. I've never heard tell of this gash. I reckon not. Hyzant would never admit to such a thing. But we, Roselle, know the truth. I had no idea my mother was involved with the revolt, let alone let it. And it was my father who gave them this land to settle. That he did. Lady Orlea, for her part, vowed to fight on, to liberate those who remained in her. The rest of us, battered and bruised in the escape, parted ways with her and remained here to live out our days in peace. And so she eventually found her way to Esfrost, where she was taken in. I thank you for sharing such a wonderful chapter of my mother's history. I hear she rallied the people to her cause with these words. The Holy State's teachings are false. The goddess's blessings spread across all Norzel. The blessing of the true goddess. The... How much of this have you heard? Hold. I beg you, recite those words. The Holy State's teachings are false. The goddess's blessings spread across all the blessing of the true goddess. The blessing that shall be the key to the chains that bind. So there exists a key that gives the lie to the goddess's teachings. Oh, With shit. With that in hand, we can yet confront Hyzant. We reveal the truth. Pray tell, good elder. What might it look like? Alas, I fear I do not know. They were worshipping fake were news. Referring. My parents always said Lady Orlea left it in this village. Then the key is here. Jerome, please. We would speak with your parents at once. I'm afraid that's not possible. We're fucking dead. We, past many we must find this key, Lord Serenella. I know it sounds like a fool's errand, but I feel we have no other choice. I agree. It is a slight hope, but... <sighs> Question is, is this a metaphor key or a key symbolic or a symbolic key? Let's find it. Found it.
is it up there? <gasps> I found it. Shit. No, I want to look at other shit. Elder, for the sake of the Roselle, I've come to speak with you about the key. Lord Serenola, I am not one to speak in metaphor and code. Oh, fuck. There was other things? Do you think this pink mirror could be the key? My I fucked her. The pink pattern suggests this mirror is quite old. I never thought I'd see this again. It was a gift from my late wife. Fuck! You scarcely right. Might this the be key. the key? No, I can't say it is. But you We're fucked. I've shown the Elder everything I have. I suppose whatever might lead me to the key has eluded my grasp. Shit. Can I redo that? The sun, right. And we've got nothing to show for it. Roland, I have a favor Fuck, to ask there was you. a door there. And what might that be? Searched. Take Frederica and get out of here. Saranoa. Please, live on. And what will you do? Fuck. I shall stay here. You said I was a member of House Wolfort. <sighs> I shall stay here with you. Frederica. As will I. I fight with you to the end, my friend. <sighs> Roland. Can I go to an auto save? I will protect the prince. 
And I refuse to leave Frederica. Benedict. Anna, you... Say no more. I am with you. Anna. Stop sulking, all of you. I suppose you're right. Will none of you go? <sighs> then we make our stand. Today may be the day the Wolfort name vanishes from it, but we have nothing to fear, for our memory shall be engraved. They will remember that Wolf... Fuck, no. This is the wrong path. The Byzantian army strikes at dawn, sieging the... Despite the overwhelming difference in their military might. Wait. Is that, that game night, over? The Wolfort name vanishes from the map. Some say they were tragic heroes who remained true to their beliefs until the end. But soon, even the voices that speak of them vanish. All that remains is fire and blood. Oh, is this game over? The war rages on. <gasps> no. <laughs> Can we go back? Let's go back. That was sad. Let's do that one. That was a sudden end of things. Shit. Okay. We already did the character shit, so... Let's look for it this time. Damn, I thought it was the key. <laughs> We know what happens. Okay. Those bastards. trick me into thinking that mirror was the key. See, the mirror is symbolic to where you have to look at your own reflection. Your own past. To seek for a better future. even let me try to fight. That's a little offensive. I bet we could have. Let's quickly go in here.
Nice fancy trick. You were the Rosellin who destroyed House Wolfor. It has to be it. Or go run inside and ask your Grand Elder if it's the key or not. I guess I should uh, talk to that kid again. Up on the roof. Yes. Silver. Why is that? Why does it say examine? Why not use? The well. I bet it's the cat. The cat's the key. not risking it. found a mirror and the pelt. Good idea. So, do I distract him? What if it's a rug? Jerome, distract your elder.
the book. There we go. I'm not yet satisfied. Killed us the first Elder, time. For the sake of the Roselle, I've come to speak with you about the key. Lord Saranoa, I am not one to speak in metaphor and code. I... Uh, 
No, wait! Will I be able to do it all? Might this pink pelt be the... Ah, uh, the pelt of... I suppose you have... Ah, my mistake. I am just an old man. So that wasn't the key. Okay. I thought that was just gonna be like, choose one and then you get one choice. But, it's not the pink pelt, it's the pink rock. Could this pink rock be the key? Where did you find that? So it is the key. What do you know of it? Clearly I can deceive you no longer. I shall tell you it. Tell us. Tell us now. What is this strange pink rock? A simple taste shall tell you all you need to know. He's telling us to lick it. Benedict My word, it, it tastes of salt. No, it, it is salt. Truly? A rock of salt? Yeah, Indeed, that's his kidney is. stone. And the story behind it is a <laughs> long one. This I crystal before you was brought now. here by it Lady took Olivia. took me a month to do My so. My mother brought this? <laughs> and you knew of this the whole time, Elder? Yes. But the seeds of conflict ought not to be left in the sun where they are apt to grow. That was our decision. Are there any other crystals like this? There are. Lady Orlea spoke of a repository rife with salt hidden somewhere in North The question Elia. is, why were you and hiding where might this? that somewhere be? Unfortunately, I do not know. And I fear the knowledge passed with Lady Orlea herself. Do you know anything about this, Lady Frederica? Anything at all? Did your mother ever mention these crystals to you before? It is imperative that you remember. I apologize, but this is my first time hearing of them as well. Calm yourself, Benedict. You're scaring the lass calm myself. The very existence of this crystal changes the nature of our realm as we know it. If you have ever wondered why Hazat oppresses the Roselle or confines them to the source, this is your answer. So they did it all to hide the existence of the repository and monopolize salt. And not just that. Anyone who finds that repository could reign over all Norzelia. Would it really have so great an influence? Salt is a divine boon, a gift from the goddess to her true... It is one of Hyzant's fundamental beliefs. <sighs> one that, due to their monopoly on both salt and So what's going to stop source, those three armies coming our way. all these years? But no longer. With this crystal alone, we can prove their doctrine false. They're not going to believe Revealing us. Revealing their absolute teachings to be mere fabrications would shake Hyzant to its... There may be hope for us yet. A report, my lord. Hyzant's army is on the horizon. Lord Serenoa, if you would, I should like to be the one to speak to them. Of course, Benedict. I leave You're the matter in your capable hands. And it's wrong. Tips Fedora hat. There is no god. Yeah. Lord Saranoa, how unfortunate it is for us to meet under such circumstances. But for disobeying the Holy One's order, I must... Before that, Minister Ekham, there is something we wish to show you. It is a mere fragment of something we have discovered in this village. It is a crystal made entirely of salt. 
What madness is this you speak? This is salt indeed. But how is this possible? It appears to have been passed down among the Roselle, and in a quantity large enough to rival the source. Unbelievable. Perhaps so. But we have proof. Salt can be found in places other than the sacred grounds beneath the goddess's feet. I am certain the implications do not. What is it that you want? An audience with the Holy One. And a guarantee of safety for us and everyone in this village. It would be a waste to dispose of both the crystal and tough. Very well then. I shall secure you an audience with the Holy One, and you have my word that the village will be safe from harm. Hey. Thank you, Minister. Oh, how I wish I could see the Holy One's face. We owe our lives to this. A crystal so of that's salt, kidney stone. or salt crystal, shall we call it? The Holy State's teachings are false. The Goddess's blessings spread across I all Norselia. The blessings of the true yeah. Goddess. The blessing that shall be the key to the chains that... Can you imagine if crystals like this were hidden beneath the surface of Norselia? I cannot imagine Hyzant being blind to their existence. Salt is the lifeblood of their nation. Agreed. Which leads me to believe that they have relentlessly oppressed the Roselle to hide it. You intend to negotiate with the Holy One, then? Correct. This time, we shan't fail. Not with this salt crystal in our hands. Hyzant will swear its support to us. Ayo. If their teachings are truly false, could you not ask them to free the Roselle at the source? No. That is a risk we cannot afford to take. Our first priority is rebuilding Wolfort. Without it, we cannot even hope to protect our own Rosellan village. I do hope you understand. I see. I suppose you are right. What will you do once granted those privileges, Benedict? What will I do? I tire of being made to decide like this time and time again. Don't you, Saranoa? I do. Our choices grow ever harder, each time piercing me deeper. It's time we decide what to do for ourselves. I wish to reclaim Glenbrook. With Hyzant beside us, we can defeat Asfrost. So when we meet, I will ask the Holy State to go to war with us. House Wolford protects the Roselle in defiance of the Holy One's orders. Hyzant sends an army to punish Wolford for their disobedience. Cornered though they may be, Serenoa and his comrades discover a crystal of salt hidden in the Rosellan village. Benedict leverages its very existence in the The crystal holds the power to change not only Hyzant, but the entire... Hey, more lore. How fortunate this humble merchant is to look upon such beauty. Nothing would do Lionel greater honor than to see his powders and perfumes adorn your divine. Such honor, in fact, that he is willing to part with him for. We haven't even coined for salt, let alone. Mines are not but your ledgers. Well met, brave protectors of the realm. Lionel has brought every every item has undergone meticulous testing to ensure out of our way junk monger we've important duties to attend <laughs> Damn. how 
My lord, that merchant who peddles his wares in our encampment has requested an audience. Uh, yes, let him come forth. You do Lionel a great honor, my lord. Oh, that he can count House Wolfort among his loyal patrons has... Yes, right. As my lord is doubtless already aware, war places a heavy burden. However, a skilled negotiator can see his coffers even fuller at war's end. If he may be so bold, Lionel would offer... Uh. He understands your precarious position. Trapped between two rap in such times, one can never have enough coin and resources to stave off what may come. Sure. Your words have merit, and you have always been honest in your dealings with my house. I see no reason not to welcome you in. Splendid! You are as wise as they say. Ironel shall not disappoint. Just the up from this day until his very last. He shall stake his honor on the prosperity of your house. Is it good and combat? if his own coin purse should grow fat in the process, who could blame him? What? He can literally turn the enemy to our side? What? Yeah, we need him. Holy shit! A shaman happens upon a village and she uses her power over the weather to bring Sakur to the sun. She looks like a baddie. The sun's a harsh mistress, ain't she? Aye. And it ain't just the crops what are worse for wear. I'd cry over our lot, but... How pitiless the caprices of nature. What grudge do the heavens bear to make the poor souls who tend the land suffer? I would be remiss to let such suffering continue. If fate will show you no mercy. You begged for even a single drop of rain. I shall give you more. Behold a right- Huh? What's that the lady said? Ha! I'd have more luck getting milk from- You must tell me if you do. We are in sore need of a mirror. A pleasure is always to see you, my lord. You've come just in time. I am called Dizana. Allow me to banish the sun's cruel rays from your domain. That you're banished the sun? I wasn't aware it was in the habit of keeping. Slap my ass like I was just born. <laughs> Slap my ass Honest like goodness, I was rain. just born. <laughs> I, I've never witnessed a miracle like this. Uh, Zana, was it? On behalf of my people, allow me to express to you my... There is no need for such formalities. I seek only to alleviate the suffering of the downtrodden in any... If it is not too bold of me to ask... Tales of House Wolfort's magnanimity have... It would be an honor to serve you, my lord. We would welcome you with open arms. Doubtless, we will have occasion...
have a big company of man warriors. <gasps> this uh, holy one is definitely going to be like, no. We granted you an audience because of Minister Exham's petition, but I did not expect you to show us this. A crystal made of salt. How very fascinating. It certainly does contradict the doctrine here in our blessed land. Or it would, were it real. Have you any proof that this was not created by magic or technology? Well... With all due respect, Minister, I have a question for you in return. What do you think of Asfrost and Glenbrook's decree to stop trade with Hyzant? I think it nothing more than a threat. Neither would last very long without our salt. Gustadoff is no fool. Such an edict would not come without proper countermeasures in place. Countermeasures such as another source of salt, for example. Having their own salt would make Hyzant's redundant at best, and your nation would soon find itself in dire straits without the salt tax's revenue. What is it you want from us? Your full support. Lend us your strength. And together we can defeat Esfrost, and High Zant's ties to all nations will remain intact. You mean to start a war? The Kingdom of Glenbrook may be naught but a puppet now, but it was once your homeland. You understand this, yes? We do. Even so, my people do not wish for war. We must try to resolve this peacefully first. Do you think Gustadolf can be reasoned with? Need I remind you that it was he who invaded Glenbrook? He is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Be that as it may, neither my people nor soldiers will accept it as a reason to go to war. Then I shall give you one. For I am the second son of King Regna. Roland Glenbrook. <gasps> you live. Possible. There is no mistaking that face. Huh. So the prince lives to slay his kingdom's invader. We could not ask for a better reason. If you need a just cause to go to war, let it be me. We must stop Gustadolf. <laughs> It all makes sense now. Oh, Holy One, have you heard? Pray, tell me what you would have us do. It shall be done. Wolfort, Prince Roland, heed the words of the Holy One. The Holy State of Hyzant stands with you. The Holy One would see you defeat Esfrost and restore peace to Norzelia. Our nation shall spare no effort in your fight against Gustadolf. From this day forth, we support Prince Roland as our commander and Lord Serenoa as one of the saintly seven. Me? A saint? We are brethren now. We ride to war together. Let's go persecute some pinkies. Well, would you look at that? We secured Hyzant's support, and you even got yourself named one of the Saintly Seven. We also received a signed document stating the Roselle and Wolford are left in our care. Good going, lad. Oh, it is Benedict and Roland to whom we owe this victory. Everyone here has suffered so much on my behalf. My weakness and worthlessness have brought pain and misfortune to you all. And for that I must apologize. You've got nothing to apologize for. I already told you. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. I've decided that I must press forward. Even if it means crawling forth on my hands and knees. 
I ask for your support as always. I know I will need it. And you shall have it. I am with you every step of the way, my lord. <sighs> Is something the matter, Frederica? No. My apologies for worrying you. Now, to battle! We take back Glenbrook with our own hand! Huzzah! Neither did I know of Prince Roland's survival. I thought he had perished. Likewise, what did you make of the Holy One's decree? Hyzant is a grand nation, but unfortunately not one blessed with a bountiful harvest of anything other than salt. Were we not able to trade, there is no doubt our nation would wither to naught. We have relied solely on salt for much too long, and that reality was made painfully clear to us. <laughs> Harsh words, but true nonetheless. Do you think we can triumph over Esfrost? Mark my words, Minister Camso. There is no fight Exham Marshal cannot win. All right, so they're not gonna stab us in the back. The Holy One has ordered for us to deliver our elf rift to House Wolfwart. And here I thought your research results to be top secret. What a curious turn of events. Perhaps the Hierophant determined it a good chance to test them in the field. They could easily sink in as frosty ship or two. And yet I see not a trace of a smile on you. I never wanted to build weapons for war. <laughs> Yet you don't think twice about toying with human life. How ironic. How dare you! Have a wonderful day. The audacity of Edor's dog. Are you certain it's wise to return to Esfrost alone, Your Grace? You are needed here. If Sikris's missive is to be believed, I'm afraid matters are far too grave to be left to Esfrost. Svarog's deception is nearing its climax. His ill-gotten profits are being... Our anonymous source from the manufactory hinted at as much. Svarog is... Death smell? What's that? Let the adults speak, my dear. What a bitch. If we're to be wed, then there should be trust between us. How long do you intend on treating me like a child? Very well. Tell her, Thalos. If you insist, brother, this weapon combines the powerful explosives developed by Dragan with Esfrost's mastery of steel, although yet to be tested. This cannon is said to have the power to breach even Hyzant's walls. The goddess's shield would buckle under a single... But... the shield is impregnable. I have heard nothing of this. Do you think so little of your general? A general is to win me victory. As and when I come... <sighs> 
Farag's intent isn't to bring Hyzant to heal, however. He means to use the cannon again, but the fool was so blinded by ambition that he never saw the string. Fool that he may be, he served his purpose well. I can't wait well. until I kill those The cannon two. could not have been made without his engineers and Dragan's reason. He will die secure in the knowledge that his bloodline contributed to the glory of Es. With it, we shall do what our forebears could not. The goddess's shield shall yield be... If we can even approach the walls, brother, the trade embargo will ensure that Hyzant is especially wary of our actions. On the contrary, their focus will turn inward, with not else to leverage their influence with. They will take... There may be some gnashing of teeth, to be sure, but it will only be in an attempt to hide their inner turmoil. Erica, muster of force, and march to the... As you wish, brother. I shall gather what news I can of the saintly seven... Thalys, you will remain in Glenbrook. Conduct yourself. You hardly need to ask, brother. That is all. Now go. Even his own flesh and blood are but tools to be used and then discarded when they're... He has faith only in himself. Such has ever been his way. Esfrost and Glenbrook remained strong after declaring a trade stop with Hyzant. Gustadolf sends Erika to Hyzant to deliver his ultimatum, and dispatches an army to Glenbrook to increase the pressure on the Holy State. And this is when we fight them. Hyzant, under the banner of Prince Roland, sends Minister Serenoa Wolfort of the Saintly Sept. Softly but surely, Norzelia descends into war. We're already in a war. Ever since Glenbrook was overthrown. <sighs> Kill Those are the Archduke's wishes. I implore you not to forget that this is his final offer. Come to think of it, I heard that Wolfort was added to your saintly ranks. Where might he be? Behind you, I'm afraid I cannot answer that. The dealings of the saintly seven are our business and ours alone. How disappointing. I had hoped to congratulate him on his promotion. That wretched woman. Those are hardly wishes. Esfrost all but demands us open the source to restore our diplomatic relations. The duchy fears neither a lack of salt nor the goddess's shield. We can assume they have a plan in mind. Then this was no more than a ploy to stall for time. We had best expedite House Wolfert's plans to take the capital. Minister Exam, send word to Minister Serenoa. Minister, make him sound all bishop-like. You wish to lend us Hyzant's new weapon? Yes. It was a directive from the Holy One. The weapon is one Minister Lila develops in secret. I compressed a vast it quantity of magic inert. into crystal form. We call this weapon Elfric. The blast crystals have yet to be perfected, but they can decimate a castle wall easily enough. 
We thank you for your support. Be forewarned that their power makes them unwieldy in an average battle. They are not meant to be used on people. Furthermore, we are only giving you a single blast crystal. Regardless, I am certain it will come in handy while recapturing Whiteholm Castle. Its incomplete nature makes it regrettably tricky to use. But Milo should be able to take care of that for you. Use them both wisely. I am Milo. Hi, Milo. A dancer by trade, but assistant to the saintly seven on occasion. Nice. I shall serve you, Minister Saranoa, until we reclaim the capital. You sure you'll be okay? You needn't worry. It isn't my first time flirting with danger. A Byzantian spy? Very likely. The blast of the Elfric should help you catch the enemy unawares. Both my army and Minister Camsos will join in the attack. Can we entrust command to you, Minister Serenor? Most certainly. And the crystal will be key in our plan to reclaim Glenbrook. made a grave error in allowing thieves to raid the archives, Constable Sikris. Forgive me. My guards gave chase as soon as they noticed intruders, but they'd already fled beyond our reach. What did they take? Luckily, they were unable to gain entry to where we keep our more sensitive texts. All they were able to make off with was a single book penned by the late Lady Olea. Olea? She left behind a message of sorts. She'd bid it be passed on to Lady Frederica when she came of age, but it seems those wishes were forgotten. Thalos or Erica must have hidden it from her. They derived no greater pleasure than from tormenting her. Do we know what was written in this book? No. Storage records indicate it was protected by some arcane seal must be of some significance if she would go to such lengths to protect it from prying eyes. Perhaps something to do with the Rosellan liberation for which she fought so fiercely. Or perhaps it is not but a mother complaining to her daughter of a duchy they both despise. I shall send a party to hunt down the thieves at once. No need. Such ruffians are unlikely to be in the employ of our foe. No doubt they were simply looking to loot us to fill their own purses. It is more important that we dispose of Svarog and finish the Nell with all haste. Dis By your grace. Benedict asked me to scout out Teleorn, where the Esfrosti soldiers are stationed. But I hardly see any around. Why did he ask me to come here in the first place? I doubt it would matter in reclaiming the capital. But orders are orders. I should report back. Ah, 
tidings from Erica. She says Hyzant refused our final offer. You seem surprised. There was no way Hyzant would agree to open the source. I know that, but the negotiations were meant to buy us time. Yet it seems their soldiers are already on the move. Damn it all! This wasn't supposed to happen. If you play with fire, you get burned. Now we have no recourse but to meet them in battle without the Archduke. So it has come to war, then? Hmm. We just have to beat them at their own game. Their newest saint is heading the vanguard. You must be delighted that a former retainer to the crown is coming to visit. Right, Cordelia? Enough, Thallus. I won't allow such impudence toward the queen. Queen? This child is nothing more than a puppet. And I believe the impudent one here is you, Aurora. A general has no right telling the prime minister what to do. I had no idea the Prime Minister's job was to torment the weak. Enough, General of Lore. I will answer the Prime Minister. As the Queen of Glenbrook, I shall protect my kingdom until my dying breath, no matter who may stand against me. It appears your impudence is contagious, of Laura. Your charge knows not how powerless she is. Worry not, your majesty. I shall protect you. Because I am to wed the Archduke? Because you are a warrior. One who does not give up, even if she must fight her battles alone. I was an orphan. I never knew my parents. I entered the army to make a place for myself. So I know better than anyone the pain of having to do everything on your own. Allow me to bear my heart to you as well, General of Laura. As the last heir to the throne of Glenbrook, I do not intend to let Gustudolf have his way. You mean to strike down the Archduke? But I lack the power to do so. Have you heard of the royalists? The aristocrats who were aid to my father? I have. I also heard they secretly indulged in bribes and the like for personal gain. That man Patriot was cozying up to the Archduke not seconds after King Regna's beheading. Their kind knows no loyalty. Indeed. But Gustadolf has not given any of them a position in his court, so they have fallen on hard times. I want to ask Patriot and the other royalists for their help. Are you mad? No doubt they would wholeheartedly embrace you as their symbol, but only for their own purposes. I understand that. But their years in service to the Crown have earned them great influence in politics. I must have their support if I'm to reclaim Glenbrook. Is it possible for you to rein them in? Not alone. But with you, General of Laura, I can. They lack military might. If you accompany me, I could sway them to my cause. Please, General. Lend me your strength. As an S. Frosty General, I simply cannot turn a deaf ear to what you have told me. Did you not think I would tell the Archduke of your plans? Of course I did. But... I refused to stand idly by as a mere decoration. So if it meant earning your trust... I was willing to show you that I wish to protect Glenbrook by any means necessary. You took a gamble. I had to. For it is not status or reward that moves you. <laughs> so you bet on my honor. 
and refusal would sully my name forever. However, safeguarding the kingdom comes first. Fighting at your side will have to wait. General of Laura! A word of advice, Your Majesty. Both Hyzant and the Archduke are veterans of war. The fight will not be an easy one, and may rage on for many years. Even so, I will not falter. I must do this. For my... An admirable resolve. I shall be your sword and shield. Thank you, General of Laura.